Well, our giving project nonprofit for the month of April is the Autism Society of Southern Arizona. And right now, the Autism Society is working with Tucson police to teach officers how to respond to situations where a person may have autism. I've been incredibly impressed by yeah. TPD and how much they've just embraced this training and been really accepting. It's been a wonderful partnership. Kate Elliott is describing the partnership between the Autism Society of Southern Arizona and the Tucson Police Department. She says Chief Kazmar was very receptive to the idea of the Autism Society providing four-hour training sessions for his officers. We had a grant to do the first five trainings with the officers and then they, TPD, found the money to finish out to do the entire police force and they footed the bill for all of that, which was astounding and amazing. And their commitment to it is just huge and we're really, really grateful for them that they did it. Not only is Elliot the executive director of the Autism Society, but she's also the mother of two children with autism. She understands the importance of officers properly recognizing a person with autism. The training sessions include body camera video from departments around the state showing examples of the movements a person with autism might exhibit. They talk about like making the scene sensory friendly, like not overwhelming people, how to like talk about asking questions, being clear and concise and understanding, finding out special interests as a way to help somebody calm down and having a connection and how to help the autistic person if they're elevated, they're lost, to really make those connections with them and help calm a situation. Elliot says uh, they're talking with other departments and governments, uh, agencies uh, to provide training for them around the state. Now Saturday is All In for Autism Day, the Autism Society holding an event at Rito Racetrack. And you can give a small donation if you'd like, five, ten dollars, whatever you think to the Giving Project, using that QR code there on the screen or you can head over to kgon9.com. It's really important for officers to getting on a scene and recognizing mm -hmm. the fact that maybe some of the hand movements and things might be a clue that this person is uh, autistic and th there's a certain way you want to diffuse the situation. I completely agree. I mean, just saying yeah. the calmness of the situation, yes. just when you are able to recognize that, I think you can handle things completely yeah. differently yeah. And for I everyone's safety. I think it's safety. great to have that training. Yeah.